Bosco, the Bedford Heights police canine, who has been caught in the middle of a controversy that captured nationwide attention, spent the first few moments of his hard-earned retirement playing in the yard at the home of his partner of the last five years, Officer Ryan Ketzel. It's awesome. It's awesome. I'm smiling again. <laughs> the case sparked a public outcry when Ryan Ketzel revealed that Bedford Heights Police initially agreed to allow him to keep Bosco when he transfers to another department. But Ketzel said the offer was rescinded after he filed a federal lawsuit seeking back pay for taking care of Bosco away from work. Amid criticism from pet owners across the country, the city had a change of heart on Thursday and decided to return Bosco to Officer Ketzel. I do understand that uh, people have their position on what should happen and what should not happen. Uh, and that, I'm, I'm sure, is coming from a very emotional love for animals. I just want to say thank you very much. I appreciate it, and the support was overwhelming. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Before the city decided to return Bosco, it had become clear that the PR problem was not going away. In fact, protesters had planned a demonstration here at the police station over the weekend. That protest has now been canceled. Oh. <laughs> and still to be determined, what happens to the $15,000 donated by animal lovers around the country to a GoFundMe page to pay for a new canine to replace Bosco? The mayor of Bedford Heights says the two sides are now working to finalize an agreement that certifies Bosco's new status as a stay-at-home retiree. There was never a need for all this media attention. There was never a need for all this back and forth. Jack Shea, Fox 8 News in Bedford Heights.